Good morning, Kingdom Saints. Good morning. How's everybody doing this fine, fine Saturday morning? Still recuperating from Thanksgiving? Yeah, you are. Then you sure had more than more to eat than I did. I'm just playing with you. Um Today Saturday. They say that it's the Sabbath, but Jesus made the Sabbath every day. Jesus made the Sabbath for every day. Every day is the Sabbath. Amen. 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 I want to wish everybody a blessed and prosperous day today. Let us pray. Lord, bless everybody under my voice right now, Lord, and whatever they're going through right now, Lord. Bring them out of it, Lord, and shine your light upon them. Give them, let your glory fall on them, Lord, so that they'll know that you and only you are the provider, the counselor, and our best friend, and our father. And Lord, whatever problems they're facing in this world right now, let it just dis disseminate, Lord, and let them know that there is a solution for everything in that that's going on in their lives right now, whether it be sickness or whether it be pain or hatred or betrayal or whatever it is in this world that they're going through, Lord, or bring them out of it and let them know that you and only you will give them unforsaken love and you love everybody for who they are. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Okay, let's go to scriptures. I know it's not Sunday, but we, we do scriptures every day. We live scriptures. We breathe scriptures. We eat scriptures. We drink scriptures. Amen. We live by the word. Let's go to um, Ephesians 1.18. Ephesians 1.18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Ooh, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened means that when you were living in darkness and you received Jesus as your personal savior, he opened up your eyes. You are no longer blind. You're able to see the light. And you're able to live in the light because your eyes have been enlightened. He gave you knowledge when you read the word. He gave you wisdom when you read the word. And you studied the word and you now you live by the word. You've been, your eyes have been enlightened. In other words, your eyes have been made uh, what do you call that? You have a different perception. Your eyes are made heightened. Yeah, your eyes are heightened. The level, the level of your sight has been heightened. That ye may know what is the hope of his calling. See, a lot of people think that his calling is just uh, God's calling you to come to come to Jesus, I wouldn't know, it's more to it than that. His calling on your life is his will, what he has plans for you, what he had planned, what he has planned for you to do in your life, in your life with him on this earth. Amen. Some are called to be teachers, some are called to be leaders, some are called to be pastors, some are called to be evangelists. You know what I'm saying? So God has a calling on your life. That's your calling. And he will reveal it to you. He will reveal it to you. When you receive the revelation, which is his son, Christ Jesus. Amen. Everybody has a calling. Whether they accept it or not is up to them. Whether they accept it or not is up to them because we serve a loving, compassionate God who doesn't force himself on us. He gave us free will. Adam and Eve had free will. But they chose the wrong spirit. They chose the wrong God. 
that he may know the hope you know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance and the saints his inheritance and the saints we are inherited we are adopted into the father we are adopted he has adopted us we are inherited amen and he shows us his glory. He shows us his glory. Because God said, Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Amen. And he shows us his glory when we pray. God hears us. Amen. There is no other God on this earth. I mean, there are no gods on this earth that we can talk to, that we have um, consultation with, that, that will counsel us, that will heal us, and that will obey us. There are no other gods. There's only one and one and one and only true God is God up above. Baba Jehovah. The I am that I am. Ephesians 1 verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us would who believe according to the working of his mighty power? I like the um I like the uh scripture that says blessed are they who have not seen yet believed for they will inherit the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. Blessed are they who have not seen yet believe. I don't have to see God to know that there is a God that loves us. I don't have to see Jesus to know that he died for me on the cross so that my soul would not be lost. I don't have to see it because I can feel him. I can feel him in me and he has healed me. He has healed me. Only the doctor couldn't heal the arthritis I had in my knee. But somebody laid hands on me, on my knee and prayed. And just like that, it just went away. I couldn't have run up the steps. I could walk up down the steps. But I couldn't walk up the steps. Going down the steps was easy. But running up the steps and walking up the steps was hard. I couldn't do it. Then when uh, somebody laid hands on my knee and said a prayer, I was like, wow. It was instantaneous. And I felt God's glory in all the times of my life. I didn't know, but it was he who saved me from death six times. It was he who brought me out of every storm that I was in. So you have to uh, see God's power. You can feel God's power and you can see and feel God's power in your life when you reflect on where you came from and what he has brought you out of. Am I right about it? Ephesians 1.20 which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Amen. Just imagine if Jesus didn't die on that cross for our sins and if Jesus didn't, didn't resurrect, if he wasn't raised from the dead, there would be no gospel. 
there would be no gospel. That, uh, well, there would be no salvation. There would be no salvation. But yet, for God so loved the world that yet while we were still sinning, Jesus died for us on the cross while we were still sinners. Amen. And it has been throughout all the ages, it has been proven, not just physically, but scientifically. They even have the nail that the centurion used to nail for Jesus feet to the cross, legs to the cross. So they have the spear that was used to pierce him. So yes, Jesus is not a myth. Jesus is not some made up fable. Jesus is real and he's coming for all of his children, all of his chosen ones, the church. Amen. And he is seated with the Father at his right hand in heavenly places. In heavenly places waiting for us. But those of us that are vessels of the Lord, those of us that have chosen Jesus as our personal Savior, Romans 10.9, those of us that are saved, our spirits are with Jesus right now in heavenly places. We are just vessels, we are just mist right here, mist, mist, because we have work to do. We have work to do. That's God's calling on us. We have work to do until Jesus comes. And we're gonna do the work that God has called us to do according to his purpose, until Jesus comes. Far above all, Ephesians 1 verse 21, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. <laughs> The name above all names, Jesus. Far above all other names. Who holds all power and all might. And all dominion, which means he is sovereign. Not only in this world. But in heaven and below the earth. He holds all power. He holds all authority. He has the keys of death. And he also has the power to give new life. Okay, one last scripture. <laughs> Ephesians 1.22 And had put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Jesus asked Peter, Jesus asked Peter, Jesus asked the disciples, who do you say that I am? And Thomas said, you are a great teacher, a great leader. That's not what Jesus wanted to hear, although it is true. And Peter said, you are the son of the one and only true living God. You are the Messiah. You are the savior of the world. Jesus looked at Peter. He said, Simon Barjona, what you say is true. Only my father in heaven could, you, could have told you these things. Only my Father in heaven. Because when you have revelation about Jesus, 
and you have an intimate relationship with Jesus, you know exactly who Jesus is and what his purpose was to come to earth. And you know that Jesus was God made manifest in the flesh, came to say, who came to save us from ourselves. Came to save us from ourselves because we were destroying each other. We were destroying our chances for salvation because we chose the wide road to destruction. But Jesus came to point us to that narrow road that leads to eternal life with Christ Jesus. And he said to Peter, he said to Peter, upon this rock, right there where they were standing, Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. There wasn't no rocks there on the floor that they were standing, it was nothing but from ground, fertile ground, there was no rocks because they was in the garden. There was no rocks. But the rock that Jesus was talking about was himself. He is the rock. He is the rock. We are the church. He built us according to him. He built us, our church, according to him. Amen. Amen. Just remember that the apostles laid the foundation down with Jesus as a chief cornerstone. You can't have a foundation without a cornerstone. The cornerstones hold the foundation up. Jesus being the chief cornerstone, not the not just one or two, but the chief cornerstone that's holding the foundation up. Amen? Amen. Okay, y'all have a blessed rest of the day. Y'all have a blessed rest of the day. Oh, by the way, y'all like my new setup? I sort of adjusted my lighting. I got a light here and a light there. And I got my regular light on over there. No light in the back. And I added an advanced mask to OBS. An advanced mask. And I got it like circle. And I added an LED light in the back just for, just to make it look good. It changes colors and stuff so. subscribers, Kingdom Saints, y'all have a blessed day today. Me, what I'm going to do? Probably just going to watch some movies or chill, relax, stay home, go to church tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't do what I used to do. I don't live the way I used to live. I live for Jesus now. I wake up with Jesus stayed on my mind. And the only reason I'm not going out today is I'm kind of financially, oh, I'm just going to come out with it. I'm broke. I can't go out today. I got, no, I got no money to get on the train to go to the places I usually go to preach, but it is what it is. You know, the Lord provides, you know what I'm saying? I just rely on the Lord. So I'm like a frog. Actually, I am a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm a frog because I fully rely on God. Yeah, I'm a frog. Got something to say about it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I like joking around. Okay, so, uh, yeah, stay strong, you heard. But most of all, stay strong in Christ. Alrighty then. Don't forget to hit the like button. Right there. Yeah, go on and hit that like button.
Y'all go and subscribe too. And hit the bell icon so you get new notifications every time I post a video. Amen. Swag Ministries checking out. Checking out. Thanks for watching.